that's it. That's our topic today. This is our humidity sensor. Hello and welcome to this episode or to this training. Yeah. This is a combined sensor of temperature and humidity. Okay. It's an intelligent sensor. It does have power supply. It does have ground and, and, and plus plus and it has a data pin and the data pin is yeah, done with with information so we need to talk to this sensor okay there is again again a library which is doing this yeah? but before let's do the hardware setup this time we don't need the other hands this time we will do this on our own okay you do have the schematics in your in your uh, script this is how it should look like you see there is the sensor it has four legs yeah one is plus one is minus one is data data needs to be connected to the arduino and plus and minus are connected to five and volts and ground this here is a pull up resistor okay so the data line is pulled up and the sensor is actively pulling this to zero if needed yeah. this is how you would build in a sensor the sensor if it is the bare sensor yeah. now let's have again oops <laughs> now let's have again a look on our sensor it's not uh, it's not that easy left right up or down it's not the sensor itself you see the sensor itself it really has four connectors it really has four connectors but there's a little PCB board printed circuit board PCP means and there are only three legs yeah? and here we do have already this pull-up resistor is already built in yeah? so the hardware setup is pretty easy yeah? the hardware setup is just connect plus connect minus connect the Arduino board yeah? it's also breadboard friendly I will just plug it in here Back. Okay, I'll do it this way because then you, then you see it better from your side. So we need minus ground. We need plus five volt. Okay, we need the same things on the sensor. We need plus, and now where is plus? Okay. Let's have a short look in the script. You do have the connections. So the PCB pin one is data. So the this one is data. Yeah. Then two is VCC. So the ground the plus. So I'll connect plus here in the middle. And then there is there is ground. Yeah. So we'll connect also grounds. That's the other one here. This one. I will connect to ground. Yeah. And here we do have data line from data to pin number two. I choose. Okay. This is how it's connected. Okay. Here you see here you see the difference pin PCB pin sensor. Okay. The pin sensors you see in the data sheet. This is why I mentioned them here. So I will plug in now. Pimp it in. Plugged in. 
Anything is getting hot? No. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. So the hardware setup, as you see it here, is very übersichtlich. Yeah. <laughs> übersichtlich. It means übersichtlich. It's easy. Yeah. It's not too complicated. Okay, so let's communicate with the sensor. Communication with the sensor is done by the help of a library. Yeah? We are using the DHD library from Adafruit. Okay, so we are using these tools, manage library, and then we choose, once it is ready, DHT. Okay. We get a number, we get a number of, of possible things, yeah? and I want to use this one. Yeah? And here we see this is not installed, the other fruit library. Where is it? This one. So I press install now. Yeah. And it said, okay, there are the dependencies. We also need the unified sensor library from Adafruit. Do you want to install these missing dependencies? Yeah. Yes, I want to install all. Yeah. And it's downloading, installing the libraries. And that's it. Suddenly it's written here installed. So you see it's pretty, pretty fast. Okay, now we can talk to this sensor. This is what the, the uh, library promised. Okay, so we include save, of course, save as. Yeah. Proper name, always, always stick to the to the naming convention, it helps. DHD11 sensor, that's the sensor name, by the way, DHD11. Okay, so we include the library we just installed. Now we include it. It's called DHD.h. Yeah. And now we define uh, DHD pin should be pin number two yeah? and we define define DHD type and this is now an overwritten this is DHD 11 okay Be there is not only an 11 there's also a 22 I think yeah DHD 11 it's our type and we're defining the object, the variable, the object of the type DHD, and I call it sensor, sensor, yeah. and it's available on the DHD pin, and it's a DHD type. Actually, this is stupid. Yeah. I will just write it here, DHD11. I think this is a definer for define, is not really too meaningful. Okay, DHD pin 2, we connect it to 2 here, passed, passed sound. Okay, should be alright. I want to write what I read on the serial monitor, so I do serial begin, serial print line and say print line Serial, 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 yeah. Measurement started. Measurement started. Okay. And then DHD begin. That's the method. Ah, sensors begin, of course. Sensor. Sensor dot begin. That's the method to initialize the communication with the sensor. Okay. What we want to do, 
is we want to read a humidity. Yeah? So I will define a type code float, floating point. Okay. What does it mean? Floating point. Floating point is a floating point variable. So it's some with a dot, yeah? comma, comma word. Yeah? Takes four bytes. And we are getting, from our sensor, we are getting this information uh, by the floating point. Yeah? So we're getting the humidity, humidity by calling sensor dot and read humidity. Yeah? These things you have simply to know about the library. Okay, the things you have to know about the library, which methods there are inside. Okay. Read humidity. Where do, how do you know it? Yeah. If you do not know this library, yeah, you could open open the explorer, okay, and then navigate to your documents and under Arduino and libraries you're finding the libraries yeah? and there is this DHD sensor library and there's usually there is a keywords you could open the keywords yeah? then you see which keywords there are usually there are already something meaningful yeah? so there is Begin, read temperature, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, compute heat index, read humidity, read. If we are not already satisfied, yeah, we can open, for instance, this dhd.h. Yeah, this is the header file. This is exactly the file we are including here. Okay, this is exactly the file we are including here. So we can open this dhd.h. I will open it with the editor. Yeah. And they are usually, there you see, okay, there is this dhd11, 12, 22, 21. There is this define. This is why we can use this simply here. So this is, this is defined inside, inside the can I zoom? Yes. This is here defined inside inside the H file. Okay. Here you can see the class definition. Yeah. So maybe you can read something out there. There are sometimes there are sometimes uh, com comments. Yeah. So. This, if you're not familiar with a class, you can either use the description if you find it somewhere, yeah, or uh, or look even in the code. If it's written in the code, it should be working. Okay, that's it. You can also open the README, yeah, with the editor. There is not too much inside, yeah, usually. Yeah, so this is this is if you're not familiar with the with the uh, library, yeah, you could look inside. Just a little help for you. But right now you are in a curse. I tell it to you. Okay. So next value, we want to read the temperature temp yeah. and it was sensor dot read temperature temperature okay reading the temperature and then we could even use Fahrenheit right? true yeah. this now means we are reading Fahrenheit okay 
so let's print it out yeah serial serial dot print yeah. temperature print out temp mm -hmm. tell the right celsius and then we will immediately also calculate it in fahrenheit Fahrenheit yeah. and then we have the humidity humid U percent and this one I make a print line because then I want to have it in the next line so let's download upload ah, again ah, yeah, you know what i mean bring it to the to the okay we see it has 25.6 degree and the humidity is around 60 yeah? percent if i cover now then we should see it's getting hotter ah 25.8 yeah? humidity is also rising looks looks good yeah so i have a heating tent under my 25.9 humidity ah humidity is rising and if i open again now it should the humidity should drop yeah humidity is a little bit this sensor here is very cheap and not that accurate yeah there are other dhds out there they do a much better job yeah 26.1 degree you see it's riding very fast Riding very fast. Uh, what is if I disconnect here? Yeah, I disconnect now, and then we get none, none, none value. Yeah, what does it mean? Not a number. This means none, not a number. So the, our floating point value has now the value net, none, not a number. This is indicating a wire break. Yeah? I have disconnected. Yeah, if I reconnect. Oopsie. Have to use the right hole. Then it automatically starts again. So the, the library seems to do its trick. Yeah? This is working pretty well. Yeah? However, I want it to be slower. Yeah? And I want to have it a little bit more. I don't want to print out none. Yeah? So I'm using if yeah and there is a function is none yeah is it not a number yeah humidity yeah then i want to print out hello read error yeah or or this is an or yeah this two lines is none temp so i could not read humidity or i could not read temperature i don't care i could not read something is none fun fahrenheit I could. so if one of these things is not a none yeah i will simply write serial dot print print line yeah. failed reading data from dht sensor okay and then i write return what does this mean return means i stop the current current uh function so i stop the loop i read it if i have read it and I, I notice it's not a number, then I immediately stop it. Yeah. And everything which comes below 
is not is not happening okay so let's upload this try this this looks pretty much like before yeah if i now disconnect pick failed reading data from thd sensor it's a much smoother way dealing with error messages than just right wrong number yeah. for me it's a little bit too fast so here i would just say i use a delay a delay of let's say 1000 i only print out once in a second okay, okay. much slower Disconnect, failed reading from THD, failed, failed, uh -huh. there's missing an E, failed reading from THD, okay. Okay, so sometimes you do have also uh, the possibility or I'm not sure. You you have the temperature and you have the field temperature. Yeah. So if the humidity is high, it's feeling hotter. Yeah. So there would be also the the possibility to calculate this. So I define a float value and say it's the heat. It's the heat in in degrees Celsius, and I can. The sensor is giving me. Compute heat index. Yeah. It's calculating this for me. I can ask the sensor. Isn't it nice? Yeah. So it all needs. I give him the temperature. I give. Uh, I ask the library. Actually, ask the library. Okay. The library is covering this. I give the humidity, and I tell it's not. It's not in degree Fahrenheit. I tell it's in. It's in degrees Celsius, and I do the same for the Fahrenheit. Yeah. Then I will not only print out the temperature, I will also print out the heat. Yeah. And here I'm using heat. Okay, let's try this. Upload. Looking good. Yeah. So there is indeed another value. Ooh, 29. Dot, uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> It's 78 degree Fahrenheit and I feel only 27. So it's pretty hot and I feel below freezing. Ah, this is wrong, of course, because why? Here, I, of course, has to use the Fahren and I have to remove this one. Yeah. Upload should look much better now. Yes, I feel 80 now. Okay. Disconnect. Fail reading data from THD sensor working. Reconnect. Working also again. Yes, so that's it. Yeah. That's how we covered pretty much every every function of this library just for your information. This is how to read data out of this DHT sensor. Yeah? And now your task is to make a little bit of weather station, yeah? print out the, the humidity and the temperature. For me it's fine if you only do in degrees Celsius. That's okay. On the LCD panel. Yeah? 
last time we had the LCD panel. This time I want you to print out these meaningful values of temperature and humidity. Okay, then you have already a weather station built up on our breadboard. Yeah. If you really wanted to have it sophisticated, you can also introduce a button yeah, where you can switch between degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Yeah. This would be then an extra. Yeah. This is how it should look like. Temperature, humidity, displayed. Yeah. Live data, if I do disconnect the sensor, it should be written that it is disconnected and not just written not a number. If I reconnect, the current value should be here. So that's what you should try. And if you really want to know it, yeah, then make a button where you press and then you can switch to Fahrenheit. Yeah. And also here, if you disconnect, it should display that there is no valid value. Again, button press, switch back to degree Celsius. Okay? So, this is the goal. This means now we know how to make a weather station for ourselves. And now we know why they are not that expensive anymore. Okay. Uh, next time we are going to make some noise. Yeah? So this next time we are going to make some, we are using the, the buzzers. Yeah? There is active buzzer, inactive buzzer. This is topic of next time. So we will make some noise there. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.